In this video, uh, we're going to take a closer look at some more procedure steps. We've already seen how to import data using a procedure step and how to export data using a procedure step. But now we're going to actually start using SAS as opposed to just putting things inside SAS. So um, we are going to import a new data set. So let me just show you where that is. In my home folder, uh, we're going to import this MM CSV file. If I open that up, there's where the file is. It's very similar to our JJJ file, except here the names start with the letter M. All right, I'll close that down. We don't need that. So I'm going to start SAS, and again, I'm running this on Ubuntu, but um, everything's more or less the same on um, uh, in Windows or Mac, except perhaps the way you you point towards your files would be slightly different. So let me just rearrange my windows in the, in the usual way. So I like to have that up there. My output window I'll have here. My results window I like here. I like it slightly smaller. Okay, so first things first, let us write some code to import that MMM data file. And if we look at our explorer, look at our libraries, look at our MAT008 library um, that I've been using, there's no MMM file. But that's where that's where we want to, to put it. So go to the program editor, proc imports, so I want an import statement, the data file that I will be importing. And now this is where I simply put in where the file is. So um, on a Unix machine, I can just use the, the tilde to, to denote my home folder. On a Windows machine, you'd probably use C colon and then point towards it. Oh, sorry, I'm getting confused. It's the mmm.csv file. Now I tell SAS where I want that to go. So out equals mat008, so that's the library, and I want it to go to the file, uh, the data set called mmm. I could put dbms equals csv. And I mentioned this in the previous video looking at the proc import. You don't need to do this if SAS is going to be able to recognize the file format. So just to prove that to you, I won't include that statement. Um, I'll put in replace simply because if for some reason there is an mmm file, it'll replace it. But we know we know there isn't. But I'll put that in anyway. And now an option, get names equals yes. So that option tells SAS, okay, from the first row of the mmm.csv file, I would like you to um, to get the names of the variables. Right? And then a run and a semicolon. I highlight all that. And I click the running man. First of all, let's take a look at the log. Everything's blue, everything's happy. And more importantly, if you look at the... Um, MMM, uh, the, your Explorer pane, the MMM file is there. So if I double click on that, we see everything here. Okay? So, um, let's take a look at a few things. There's three procedures I'm going to do today that allow you to take a quick look at data sets. So if I, um, I'll leave that open to now just to show you what happens. So the first procedure we're going to do is proc print, and so data equals and now we simply write mat 008.mmm I don't need to capitalize semicolon run semicolon if I highlight that click the running man this is the layer window that comes up on my machine but you don't need to worry about that what we have here is in the output window the same data set Okay, so proc print is just another way of viewing the data file, right? Obviously, it's the, the same one. Okay, another procedure, if I didn't actually want to open the data file, but I just wanted to take a quick look at the labels, basically, on it. So proc contents, data equals mat 008mmm semicolon, Run. So now I just I don't actually want to open this data set. This data set could be huge, but I just want to get a quick glance at it to make sure I'm looking at the right data set, for example. So I run that and I'm going to click on run and submit. Same help file comes up, it's not necessarily what we want. And now in the 
window here, we got some immediate information. So here's some information just about where the about the file itself, where it is, the permissions. And here we have the variables, what type they are, the length of each of the variables. We know the variable is age, we've got height in meters, home, underscore postcode, savings, underscore in, underscore pounds, etc. And we have um, a format on this data set and an in format on this data set and on these variables. But don't worry about those for now, we're going to look at them later. Okay? Now, one final procedure we're going to look at. So say, if we look at this data set, it looks like everything's in alphabetical order. But what if I wanted to sort the data set by age? And this is going to be very important when doing further data sets, when you need to sort your data set um, on a particular variable. So, very simple. Proc sort data equals mat008.mmm close semicolon and now I write um, by so the actual um, variable that I want to sort on so by age note I'm not capitalizing even though the variable is capitalized up there I press run so I highlight that I click the running man and ah what has happened here? So this is the first time we've seen this. We've actually got some red in our log. So something's happened. Let's take a cl let's take a, a closer look at this. You cannot open mat008.mmm for output access with member level control because mat008.mmm is in use by you in resource environment sort. Right. So what this is basically saying is because I'm opening this in browser mode which is right here, I can't sort it. Okay, And that's good practice to always close browser mode. It's also why some people never double click on a, on a, library, on a data set to, to look at it. They always use proc print. So let me just close this down again. If I close that, the data set's still there. It's not a problem. And I'll rerun the code. And this is another example of why code-based um, programming is nice as opposed to point and click. Because the code's already there. I don't have to do anything. I'll just run it again. So I'll Submit. 13 observations read from the data. Everything seems to go fine. And so now what I'm going to do is I go to the top here. I'm going to print this data set again. I'm going to take another look at it. And we see indeed the data set is sorted by age. So these are what's called utility procedure steps, which allow you to do some basic house cleaning um, related to your data set. We'll um, We'll see in the next video um, how to do a bit more complicated things.